have to stop our operation for a few weeks when chicken supply is affected, but our renter is still on us. I'm Natalie. I'm the owner of our five Hainanese chicken rice, fried rice and porridge. So we are selling as above mentioned <laughs> and we are located at Block 158 Amokyo Avenue 4. How A5 name come over is because of A5 is uh, my dad. So my dad is actually the fifth child in his family. So in Hainanese, they like to um, pronounce their name uh, by numerical order. So he's the number fifth child, pretty obvious. And um, what's special about us, I would say that during day run, since then, we are using quality stuff. So including our chicken, we, have, um, we are using kampong chicken. So that actually enhanced the taste of a chicken rice in this national dish. So as for my background, I've obtained my Master's in Intellectual Property Management in SUSS. Uh, that was before my uh, business. And I was working in a smart lock company as an IP associate, which is highly relevant to what I was studying. It started with my dad's influence of starting a business, which actually led me to always have that plan pending for execution till the opportunity comes. So nevertheless, I'm glad to say that um, education taught me better to identify the importance in current market, seeing the value and looking further in business plan. Every dad is a hero in their child's eyes. My dad plays the chivalrous role in the family. He's a hero in the family, but he's a legend when he's out. So he inspired me to be selfless and hard work will pay off. Before entering into his retirement, he had humble yet extensive experience while working at Chicken Rice Store, starting his own business, entering into partnership that faced several failures for his entire lifetime before his success. It's, it inspires me to believe that it's not about the rocky life with failures, but better with the problem and look for solution. Whenever I had a hard time, I would think of my dad and realize that my life problem is not even comparable to what my dad had focused and I will stay strong. My initial thought was we will be independent at the store, however my dad will monitor us in terms of the quality of the food. And my role was dealing with the chicken rice till there is job reshuffle and my parents will come to uh, help out. I think not many people know that uh, five star my dad has sold the business which is a lot of people ask me why I don't continue under 5 Star instead of like opening a new store. So basically the business is sold. Uh, in that case, instead of tapping on the legacy, I would rather uh, wish to create a new legacy. So we are the second gen, <laughs> they're holding the secret recipe. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it's not possible to list all challenges, possible challenges to our hawker culture. You might be aware that our grand opening was during phase 2 heightened alert. So at the very beginning, the utmost concern was how to grapple with the unpredictable pandemic that disrupt many local businesses. And another point will be a higher percentage of us works in corporate sector. Therefore, we may not be able to stand in f and shoe. I wouldn't know f and sector could be this struggling in terms of the physical work the long hours commitment, the frequent price hike too. So some examples like we have to stop our operation for a few weeks when chicken supply is affected, but our renter is still on us. You know the irony fact is when the customers face price hike of 50 cents, we had to face multiple hikes of dollar, uh, dollar unit. We have come this far and we are one year old now. Cheers to us because we are the longest renter here that no one actually hit the one year mark. So uh, I'm thankfully that uh, what keeps me holding on were my supportive uh, customers. By the way, regardless of any age range, they, they really give me like overwhelming support. Sometimes that I would be able to like sew out ahead of my operating hours. They are the people that shows both moral and physical support by patronizing my store just to give their encouraging words. Um, voice from a hawker heroes, I would say people out there who are still with me watching this video. Whenever you are in a dilemma over what to eat, why don't you just head down to your nearby hawker centre, support our cultural food and the people who create it.